Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered immunity as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basics, including lines of defense and cellular and humoral immunity. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one. Blank are a part of the adaptive line of defense of the immune system. And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is B, T helper cells. T helper cells are an essential part of the adaptive or third line of defense of the immune system. T helper cells secrete cytokines that activate other cells of the immune system, which help to fight foreign substances. Moving on to question number two, a vaccine which helps to build immunity towards a disease can be classified as, and this one is D, artificial active immunity. Artificial active immunity is also known as vaccine-induced immunity. Active immunity results when exposure to a disease organism triggers the immune system to produce antibodies to that disease, which is what a vaccine does. And a vaccine is considered artificial immunity because immunity is just that, it's artificially acquired through an injection, rather than being obtained naturally through exposure. Question number three, the complement system and natural killer cells both belong to the blank line of defense in the immune system. The answer here is B, the second line of defense. Complement proteins and NK cells or natural killer cells are both non-specific defense mechanisms of the second line of defense. Question number four, Autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematosus are classified under which of the following types of hypersensitivities? This one is C, type 3 hypersensitivity. In type 3 hypersensitivity, antigens combine with antibodies to form immune complexes. This causes inflammation and tissue destruction. Question number five, which of the following hypersensitivities is caused by allergens that provoke an allergic reaction? And the answer here is A, type one hypersensitivity. In type one hypersensitivity, a specific antigen, which in this case is an allergen, that has been re-exposed to the body provokes an immune response. Histamine, leukotriene, and prostaglandins, among other inflammatory mediators, are synthesized and result in vasodilation and smooth muscle contraction. Question 6. Human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, specifically targets blank in the immune system. And the answer here is B, T helper cells. HIV specifically targets T helper cells, which causes decreased antibody production via B cells and decreased ability for T cytotoxic cells to kill pathogens. This is how HIV decreases the immune system and causes increased susceptibility to infection. Question number seven, a blank is an antibody formed by the immune system that fights against the individual's self antigens or own proteins. The answer is A, autoantibody. The prefix auto is derived from the Greek word for self, so autoantibodies fight against the self, and the cause of autoantibodies is not well known. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, which of the following cell types keeps the immune system from becoming overactive and impedes activity of other lymphocytes when an antigen has been destroyed? The answer is C, T suppressor cells, or regulatory T cells. This is the correct function of the T suppressor cells. And that's it for our altered immunity quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.